Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do um, what does a soulmate have to say to you? So it's a reading about what your soulmate or your significant other, whomever you're coming to the reading for, what do they have to say to you? Um, hang on. So we're going to pull cards in regards to some of you who are estranged from someone that you, you love, that you like, that you want to make it work with. Um, and then some of you are just having very little conversation with the person that you are interested in. What does the soulmate have to say to you? And then we're going to see what the universe has to tell you in regards to the soulmate and this relationship, okay? So let's see what the soulmate has to tell you. What does the soulmate have to tell the Aquarius Collective? Thank you, Lord God, for blessing these cards. Blessing the Aquarius with a message. Okay, what does the soulmate want to tell you? Okay, the deck is upside down. So, the star card coming out first. They want to tell you that you are dynamic. That they look up to you because you're in a place of really accepting yourself for who you are. That you're on the right path in life. That they feel like the path with you is to enlightenment. Is to healing. To restoration. They feel like you're beautiful. You may get a lot of attention. They feel like you have star quality or star power. Some of you do something creative. Some of you are in the public's eye. Some of you are, I'm, I'm seeing dancers and I mean, you could be an exotic dancer. You can be a professional dancer or whatever. You put your stamp on it. Um, some of you are dancers. Some of you are singers. Some of you do something artistic where it, it, it gets, it gains a lot of uh, attention. Actors, actress, let's see. What else does a soulmate want to tell the Aquarius? That they think that um, you're right, uh, something about what you're right where you need to be. You, you, you have accepted yourself. I don't feel like the, the soulmate has fully accepted the, their self um, in regards to societal norms and what society says and what family says. Ten of Swords, they feel like, right, they feel like for you, maybe a disappointing time, a difficult time is over. That you've been through hell and back. The, the soulmate wants to say that. I'm hearing that you're stronger than you know. That they see you in all, they see you in all of the splendor, all of the, the joy. But they've also seen the tough times with you. They see that it's over for you. Um, they see that maybe they want to heal a, the connection. They want to get come out of tough times with you. Nine of one, once again, someone is looking at you, peering in on you. Someone is peering in on you. Someone is looking at maybe old pictures, social media. They're taking a stance in regards to they don't know if they should let the feelings go or sh should they release them and tell you exactly how they feel about you. This is someone with reservations about you, but are not speaking them. This is like the secret admirer, someone who is secretly interested, but not speaking their mind, not speaking how they feel. Right, Seven of Swords. This is this what they want to tell you is that 
they're trying to come up with some plan of action in regards to coming back toward you or running back toward you or running away from as as if they are all they're running away from something that is not fulfilling less fulfilling in their life maybe a relationship a marriage could even be a business or something of that nature they're running away from the connection And they, and they want to come back toward you. This is a person. They they want to tell you that, look, they want to come back towards you by all means necessary. By any means necessary. Excuse me. Um, they're making a plan of action to come toward you. To to say something to you to speak this could be lies this could be lies I'm not even going to shit you ten of wands they could be telling you the truth about how they feel about you but not telling you the fact that they may already be involved in a situation that they have no idea or is or is not taking any action in regards to get out of what else does it you have the queen of pentacles that they see that you're very grounded you're you're the ideal woman you work you're for yours you have a, a sense of luxury sophistication about yourself But once again, they're not making a decision or even a choice here in regards to having something stable and solid with you. It's almost as if they want to come back and, and restart a situation without offering you anything real and true. They understand that a decision, a choice needs to be made here. They, but what question their motive once again question their motive they want to start a love affair back up they feel like there was failure with the love affair before it might even be failure going on in their life presently maybe with a marriage or a significant other a significant relationship um, they're okay with they want romance they want love and that's what they want with you. What else does this, this soulmate want to tell Aquarius? And some of them are at the brink of ending something, but they haven't ended it. It's almost as once they're like stuck between two worlds. You know, they're, they're, something is dying and they know this. It could be the connection with you. Right. This person. Okay. So. For some of you. You walked away from someone that couldn't give you exactly what you wanted. A real relationship. They couldn't be true. They, they were out to get whatever they can get from the relationship. It looks that you two had. It could have been a love affair. It could have been a triangle. It could have been a square. I don't know. Um whatever this was it the Aquarius may have walked away or it might have been mutual what they feel is is what how they feel is that they lost something of value with you they understand your value even in understanding your value they still don't want to give you exactly what you deserve you want a relationship they don't want to give you that because that would mean they would have to make significant change in their life they want to start the union back up. They don't like the distance, the separation here. They don't like that you've come into your power and you've taken it back, King of Swords. Um, and you're doing what's best for you in regards to your own health, wealth, and happiness. Um, that is the gist of this. Okay? Let's see what else they want to tell you. They want to start this back up. They want everything. So if you're, if you're like, well, they just want to have sex with me. They want to have that. 
um, they want to have good times with you. They, they'll even have romance with you. Uh, they'll take you out. They'll do this. They'll do that. If that was a part of your relationship when you were dealing with this person, yes, they want everything back. Everything that you have to offer in relation with them while giving you only half of, of themselves because they're already involved in something else. They understand that a decision needs to be made, that they need to choose you or the other person, that they can't have you as a lover. It's not fair to you. They want a second go around with you, but it looks like they, they're not willing to make the choice. They feel like they, they lost something of value, of course, with you, that there was failure here. It's also asking you, it's telling, well, they feel like they failed with you. They feel like they played mind games with you. They were it, it was childish with you or they were childish. They also feel like the relationship between the two of you was it was childlike. It it brought them to a childlike sense of joy, of happiness. Um that there was may, maybe even an element of drama. For some of you you're dealing with sociopaths and and narcissists, they like the attention, they like the drama, they like the element of sneaking and hiding and having to to manipulate some of you. I'm not saying that all of you. Um, what does the soulmate want to tell you? Three cups, they want to reconcile. They, Some of you, like I said, some of you, they will date you. They, they're willing to date you again, whatever you want. So that they can get whatever they want. You see, um, King of Pentacles, yeah. This is a person who wants to date inside of an of an existing connection here. This is a person who wants to recreate the 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 dating situation, the the union here, but they're already obligated to something else. King of Cups. How they feel about you sometimes may be unknown. They're master of their emotions. And I'm here for some of you. They manipulate you in regards to. They do a lot of things for you. Like once again dating is coming up. Taking you out. Courting you. In, in which you feel like. This is. This is a good relationship or this person has a lot of feelings toward me or, or they have a lot of a, a love for me or they want something solid and stable and true with me. But you never know because this person doesn't speak it. They do a lot of things and they leave it up for interpretation. That is a master of manipulation versus speaking exactly how you feel about a person. The chariot. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Someone is trying to gain, uh, um, regain control here in this relationship. You may have distance between the two of you. They have secret plans in regards to coming back together because they feel as if this was a successful union. They feel as if you are a soulmate. They want to come to you and speak that to you. There is a purpose for this person in your life. This is a divine connection. It talks about divine timing. You may be overly emotional about this. Or they may be missing you. There's an element of missing you. But you're kind of cut off. There's also for some of you an element of them being in a relationship that is unfulfilling. There's discontent. There's boredom there. There's drama. There might even be another person in, in that in that regard. They want to take they want you to to take the risk with them. They feel like some of you have been away for long enough. They want to for some of you they want to come out of the doghouse. Yeah, they want to reestablish with you. They, for some of you, they understand what the connection means. 
there's gonna be like 20 percent it looks like it might be a piscean person it could be anyone but someone is really coming back and they really want to establish something true they're going to make some decisions that are permanent they want to salvage what you have then there's an element of some of the people that you're dealing with aquarius they just want to come back and they want to um you know they, they want to reestablish what you guys have offering you nothing there's no offers here only knight of swords only their spoken word their truth it's not absolute truth but it's their truth let's see what the universe has to say to you in regards to this person be there it says question their motives question everyone's motives the two of cups it, it is or it was a successful union there's a lot of love here there's a lot of give and take the feelings are mutual if, if you want, if you're wondering, do they love you? Do they like you? The answer is yes. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. But the universe is asking for you. It says that in order to have a new start, a new start with this person, it will be a challenge. And you're going to have to demand uh, truth and assert yourself in regards to what it is you will accept and won't accept right in regards to this emperor maybe someone is married maybe someone is older than you maybe someone is already in an established uh union um they've already got some structure in their life in regards to someone else um and then yeah queen of wands and the ten of cups there's someone that they're already involved with the universe wants to let you know that they're still in a family dynamic that they're holding on to but it is dying it is not where they want to be but this is where they are and they're making no real decision in regards to coming toward you and offering you anything solid and, and stable the will of fortune it says that something is coming to its culmination to its end the death card and the will of fortune says it yeah they feel like they are losing you or they lost you they lost what was good their good luck charm they lost what they feel was divine in their life they feel like they that they need it needs to come back around for them the universe wants you to know that they've been holding on to you but they also been holding on to their their home life six of wands the four of cups and the eight of swords so they feel like they, they want attention from you they want the union back. They understand what it is you mean to them. They find usefulness with you in you, with your whole demeanor, your personality, what you bring to the table. They are discontent and bored with where they are. Um, they're still trying to maintain their status here. Uh, maybe in regards to other people looking in on their life. They, they think about you constantly and, and or they feel trapped to a situation that they are completely um you know involved in emerged in or or submerged in there's a merger here where they gave everything to someone else it's going to be it's going to take a lot of unraveling a lot of detangling for them to get out of that they also are wondering if you take to their offer what they are offering could be saying this. Let's see what this is. King of Wands. They're going at this could be a Cancer male or Aries Sagittarius Leo. They exactly they want what their heart. They're going after their heart's desire. And that very well may be you. They're focused and locked on coming back. Could definitely be done with the cancer, the chariot. They're focused. I'm coming back toward you. This could be a man with, with children, married. Typically, the King of Wands is married with children. He's attractive. He's outgoing. He's charismatic. Um, he gets a lot of public maybe recognition, attention. Or he's in a public eye in some sort. It says that, yeah, he wants to take the leap of faith with you. He wants to go. He wants you to forgive all. He may even come back with, with an apology. 
uh, he may even just want you to balance out the energies in his own life. You brought good energy, good news, good advice. And then there's you, the King of Swords. Yeah, he feels like, you know, you with you, Aquarius, you were very fair. You were very just. You were very giving. A few last cards. What is this person? Ace of Pentacles. They want to establish maybe a foundational relationship. What is this Ace of Pentacles? The strength card. Let's see. Before I even start. Six of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. The Two of Swords. So this might be a person who wants to have like a permanent. You know what? I'm not even going to say. I'm going to let the cards speak. I'm feeling like somebody wants to come and offer you like, hey, you know, um, you know, I love you. You know um, how much our relationship meant. It's almost as if they want to offer you like a permanent concubine type of situation. <laughs> like, like I can't be with you in the capacity that you want me to, but I definitely can be there for you in regards to, you know, um, what we have. I like your energy. I like your aura. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I tell you. Okay. So this person may come to you and offer you like, well, hey, look, I'm already married or I'm already in this commitment. I can't get out of it or I don't see a way out of it or I don't even want to make the decision to get out of it. But I, what I do know is that I want you and this other situation. What I am offering is maybe money. Maybe time, maybe courtship. Definitely wanting the exchange of an intimate relationship, sex. Doggone it. I tell you, I tell you, without the real union, the four wands in reverse. It may be a shock to you that they even come to you. The two of pentacles sometimes talks about a love affair that is not favorable. Um, the tower here, Scorpio energy, they may come back in this Scorpio season. They may have some aha moment where, you know, it shifts the energy for them and they figure that they want more attention uh, from the Aquarius, that they find a reason, uh, they find usefulness in this relationship with the Aquarius. Not really offering the relationship and or stability, but an air of stability. They come up once again as the two of swords. Knowing that a decision needs to be made, but burying their head in the sand. Covering their eyes. Hoping that no one sees them for who they really are. Someone who's not willing. Let's see what are on the other side. Let's see what the advice is for you Aquarius what the cards tell you to do in regards to this person let's see if there's anyone new coming in let's see what the lesson is in this okay so we're going to go over to the website and we're going to answer the questions what is the lesson here what's the advice for dealing with this person and then there was also for some of you there was someone wanting to come in out of the dog house Somebody wants to salvage a relationship. They want you to see things from a different perspective. You're looking at how it can't work. They want you to look at how it can work. Um, this might even, you might even be the mother of their children. Um, okay. So yeah, they may be coming in and, and telling you, Aquarius, hey, I'll do this if you do that. This That's that conditional statement here with the page of wands. They see you that, you know, you're abundant, you're independent. They can add to that or they can help you even establish that even more. They may even see that you get a lot of attention and recognition. 
they find usefulness, a sense of usefulness, um, a sense of um, of compatibility, of health, of how you fit into their life here. Six, uh, six of Cups, they may want the reconciliation. They want the union back. Offering not too much. Maybe the, the Page of Wands, they're offering, you know, how can this work for the both of us? So let's go over to the website. We're going to answer the questions. What's the advice for you in regards to dealing with this person? Is there anyone new coming in? What's the lesson to be learned here? Three questions, all right? So I'll see you on the other side. I hope that this reading gave some of you a bit of clarity. Let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, let's pull the shells for a second to see what the shells have to say in this regard. In this fashion of you dealing with this person. Um... Lord God, can you bless Aquarius with a message via the shells? Use the shells, Lord God, to give them a message to bring this home for some of you. For some of them. Thank you, Lord God. Bless. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. We have marriage. We have lies. We have friends. We have message. We have hate. Um, I mean, that's everything that's been in these in these two spreads. Some of them are going to come back with lies. Some of them may even want to tell you the truth. But they may omit some things. Lying by omission. They want to give you a message that they want to be friends with you. Friends with benefits, you know with benefits they want to be a good Samaritan to you they they would even help you some of them you know what level you're dating on some of these men are willing to take care of you some of them have the capacity of doing so um, so they're not opposed to that okay um, hate I don't know what that's about they can even hate they may feel like you hate them. For some of you who aren't talking, who are who are strange, they may also hate exactly where they are in their in their marriage. Okay, let's go over once again to the website. I answer those three questions. Okay, this is really good. This will put some things in perspective for some of you. Um, you know your situation you know um be realistic you know don't be so spiritually bound that you you know earthly good be realistic if this person has made no effort to change their circumstance then that's probably what it is and um if you're willing to wait that's you know i can't answer that for you you do you but understand that some of you the offer is, will you be my concubine? And then for for some of you, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm hearing that if, okay, we're going to save that for the other side. Okay. Just to make sure I'm, I'm right. Once again. do have an air of good news for some of you yep once we get to the other side okay all right so that's this is good this is good um the question that i asked the cards were if aquarius stands their ground and stays true to their own convictions of, of being assertive, the Queen of Swords, 
um, will they get exactly what they want from this person or maybe another situation? Let's talk about it on the other side, all right? So thank you, Aquarius. The link is below to get the extended read. You can also get your own personal read if you feel like this resonated with you. Get the 72-hour energy read. That'll be the energy surrounding you for the next 72 hours. That's on sale. Get the 20-minute phone reading where you can get me on the phone and you can ask me as many questions as the 20 minutes will allot. Um, also, you can get the two-question $15 energy Two question $15 tarot card reading that comes to you via email. So um, that'll be sent to you via an email. All right, so take care, Aquarius. Everything you need is below. Send me an email if you have questions. Bye.